Archangel Michael is trying to reach you urgently because something huge is going to happen in next 7 hours don't skip. When life presents challenges that feel insurmountable, the natural human response is often to strive, to fight, and to try to figure out solutions in our own strength. But the beauty of walking with God is the realization that you were never meant to fight life's battles alone. Scripture reminds us in 2 Chronicles 20:15, the battle is not yours, but God's. This truth becomes a beacon of hope for weary souls seeking peace amidst chaos. God's invitation is simple yet profound, surrender. To surrender does not mean giving up or resigning to defeat it means placing the burden of your struggles in the hands of the one who is infinitely capable. God sees the end from the beginning, and his wisdom is perfect. When you let go and let God fight for you, you are allowing divine strategy, power, and timing to prevail in your life. Share this video immediately if you believe in God. Ephesians 6,10-18 tells us to put on the full armor of God, but notice something remarkable, the armor is for standing firm, not for fighting alone. God's word becomes your shield, his righteousness your breastplate, and his truth your belt of strength. As you stand firm in faith, God moves ahead of you, parting the seas of difficulty and silencing the storms of fear. Battles are won on your knees. Prayer shifts your focus from the size of the problem to the greatness of your God. When you pray, you align your heart with heaven's will. Philippians 4 6 7 urges us to bring every worry and request to God through prayer and thanksgiving, and in return, His peace beyond all understanding guards your heart and mind. There are moments when the waiting feels like a battle in itself. But remember, delays are not denials. God works all things together for good, Romans 8 28, even in the waiting. The Israelites had to march around Jericho for seven days before the walls fell. Trust that God's timing is never late and always brings the best outcome. Surrendering control can be daunting, but it is the ultimate act of trust. When you let God fight your battles, you acknowledge His sovereignty and infinite power. Proverbs 3 5 6 reminds us to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Jesus Christ's sacrifice on the cross was the ultimate victory over sin, death, and every struggle you face. Colossians 2 15 declares that Christ disarmed the powers of darkness triumphing over them. When you let God fight for you, you are walking in a victory that has already been secured. When God fights for you, His power and glory are revealed in ways that strengthen your faith and inspire others. The Red Sea parted, Goliath fell, and the fiery furnace could not consume because God showed up for His people. Your story of God's deliverance will become a testimony of hope and faith. Take a moment today to release every burden into God's hands. Speak these affirmations over your life, I trust in God's power to fight my battles. I release fear and embrace His peace. I walk in faith, knowing victory is mine through Christ. I surrender control and trust in God's perfect plan. I am not alone, God is with me, for me, and ahead of me. Heavenly Father, I come before you weary and burdened. I surrender every battle, every fear, and every worry into your capable hands. I trust in your power, your wisdom, and your love. Fight for me, Lord and grant me peace as I stand firm in faith. I believe that the victory is already mine through Jesus Christ.
Thank you for being my refuge, my strength, and my defender. In Jesus' name, Amen. When the battles of life overwhelm you, God's power shines brightest in your weakest moments. In 2 Corinthians 12 9, God declares, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. You don't need to muster the strength to fight alone God's grace will carry you. Every time you feel insufficient, remind yourself that it's an invitation to rely on the sufficiency of God. Reflection, what areas of your life feel heavy today pause, breathe, and whisper a prayer of surrender. Acknowledge that God's strength is enough to overcome any obstacle. The battles of life often feel relentless, but in the midst of chaos, you have a place of safety. Psalm 91:2 proclaims, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Picture a fortress strong, immovable, and unshaken by the storms outside. That is who God is for you. Run to Him, and you'll find peace, protection, and rest. Prayer Father, you are my safe place, my shield, and my deliverer. When I feel attacked, I will rest in the truth that you are my refuge. Cover me with your wings as I let go of my need to control. Not all battles are visible. Some take place in the spiritual realm, where God fights for you against forces you cannot see. In Exodus 14:14. 14, 14, Moses reassured the Israelites as they stood before the Red Sea, the Lord will fight for you, you need only to be still. The same is true for you. While you may see challenges, God sees solutions. Trust in the unseen battle being won on your behalf. Visualize victory, imagine God standing between you and every obstacle, parting the waters, leveling mountains, and creating a way where there was none. Letting God fight for you is not about passivity it's about faith in action. It requires you to step back, release your grip on the situation, and trust that God's plan is better than anything you could orchestrate. Isaiah 26 3 reminds us, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. When you surrender, peace replaces anxiety, and trust takes the place of doubt. Affirmation, I release control and trust in God's plan for my life. I will not be anxious, for God fights my battles. Sometimes, you might wonder why the battle persists. But God, who sees the end from the beginning, is working everything out for your good. Isaiah 55,8-9 reminds us, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. Trust that even the battles you don't understand are shaping you, refining you, and preparing you for the victory ahead. Encouragement, even when you can't trace his hand, trust his heart. God's ways are higher, his plans are better, and his timing is perfect. The Bible is full of stories where people stood firm in faith while God brought the victory. Think of David facing Goliath, Daniel in the lion's den, or the three men in the fiery furnace. In each story, the heroes didn't fight with human strength they trusted God to deliver them. Exodus 14:13 reminds us to stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. Challenge, take a stand of faith today. Instead of reacting in fear or striving in your own strength, pause and declare God's promises over your situation. One of the most powerful ways to let God fight for you is through praise. In 2 Chronicles 20, King Jehoshaphat led his army with singers who praised God. 
As they sang, the Lord set ambushes against their enemies, leading to victory. Praise shifts your perspective from the battle to the victory already won in Christ. Action Step Create a playlist of worship songs that remind you of God's power and faithfulness. Sing them aloud when fear tries to creep in. When facing a current battle, look back and remember the times God has already fought for you. David did this when he faced Goliath, recalling how God delivered him from the paw of the lion and the bear 1 Samuel 17:37. Your history with God is a testament to his faithfulness and a source of courage for the future. Journal prompt, write down three moments when God brought you through a difficult situation. Let these memories fuel your faith for the battle you face today. God fights for you because he loves you deeply. Romans 8:31 once says, if God is for us, who can be against us this love is not contingent on your performance or perfection it is steadfast, unshaken, and unending. Because of his love, you can face life's challenges with boldness, knowing that you are never alone. Prayer of Gratitude Thank you, Lord, for your unshakable love. I am grateful that your love leads, fights, and protects me in every situation. Victory is not something you strive for it's something you walk in because of Jesus' finished work on the cross. In John 16:33, Jesus reminds us, In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Your victory is secure in Christ. Declaration, I am victorious in Christ. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I walk boldly in the victory that Jesus has already won for me. You are not defined by the battles you face but by the God who fights for you. Lay down your worries, pick up your faith, and step into the freedom that comes from knowing the battle is the Lord's. Let him go before you, stand beside you, and carry you through every challenge. Victory is already yours. Subscribe our channel to receive more God messages.